following podcast is not real, but it is really sponsored by Basecamp. When you use Basecamp to run projects, people know what to do, people know where things are, and you stay on top of everything all the time. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you have never listened to this podcast before, this is what's going on. Almost a year ago, I fell through a dimensional rift behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a slight Wi-Fi signal, I think, from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I'm using that to upload a podcast I record every week here in the tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hogsface, in the land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-hosts. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chunt, how you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. You feeling a little bit better? I know you were really sad last week about Rebecca with a K, who had Yeah, been... it was a good friend, and she, uh, I thought she was killed by a werewolf, but it turns out it was just uh, Honk the Assassin. <laughs> Does that make it any better? I th- just having some closure... Sure. I think it's always Oh, good. yeah, absolutely. And I am ah. Isidore, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarrakis. The elves know me as Fian Yalak. The dwarves know me as Zodan and Hookstangis. And I am known in the northeast as Gasmuanius Maystar. And there may be other secret names you do not know yet. No. I'm thinking about getting Can. A ball of pure light that will enlighten his soul and bring pure joy into his life every single day, or a gravy boat. Oh, Ooh. as a belated, uh, a as belated, a belated wedding, wedding gift, gift for Can yes. the Wizard. Yes. That's right. That's I right. Who he got married to? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I still have not met Can the Wizard. I'm excited to meet him. That's yeah, not he's that great. Fine. <laughs> You're not missing anything. I've heard he's awesome. No, he, he's all right. No. I've heard he's very old, but you would, but he seems hip and young, like nope. a twenty year old. That's Couldn't not be further correct. from the truth. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I am very excited to talk to our guest. We've had him here before, but uh, he's got a, like a big uh, quest coming up. I'm so excited. Oh uh, yes, I do have a big <laughs> quest. I must defeat the Dark Lord. It is imperative that we join forces together, that we all rise up and uh, take Usador. our place in the... Usador, Usador, Usador. 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 He's talking about me. We will talk about... Yeah, what? Otak Barleyfoot, the owner and proprietor of the Vermilion Minotaur. Good to be back. Yeah. It's been a while. It has been a while. I mean, you're always around, but we haven't had you on the podcast. Right. No. Yeah. It's big day, though. Big day. Big day. So, Otak, your daughter, Activia, has been missing for, gosh, uh, as long as I've been here, over uh, a year. Yeah. Over a year. A couple years, actually. Uh, Almost two years now. It's been devastating. It's been really difficult, as yeah. you know. She ran off with the Falsetto Marauders? I'm trying to remember. It's yes. been a while since we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, the Falsetto Marauders, um, the band of really terrible mercenaries. They killed all the sheep? Is that right? All of That's them. That's right. Every single one. <laughs> they smack babies. Yep. The despicable. I mean, a laundry list of horrible yeah. deeds, but those are top yeah. two. So, you, but you've what, what made you decide, like, it's finally time for you to go out and find her? Well, I've been nervous about leaving the tavern. Sure. Um, and, uh, as you know, Blemish, uh, who works yeah. for me, is sort uh-huh. of my second in command. Yeah. Uh, Blemish. Who's that? Bo- the boy. The oh, boy. the boy, yes. The ashen-faced. Yes. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Um, I've been a little nervous about leaving the tavern and his care. Yeah, that seems like a horrible idea. Is Blemish around? Yeah, he no, should he's, be. He's always lurking. He okay. should be. I, well, actually, uh, he might be um, um, cooking up another batch of candied beets for uh-huh. everybody. Mm. That's sort of... I don't know if you've noticed, Ugh. but For that's, once, Eusador and I agree on something. Candied beets. Well, are um, we've got a special on candied beets this month, actually. Oh, we've really? Been trying to really push the beets. Sure, yeah. Um, so if something isn't selling well, it's like, put it on special. Well, yeah. Yeah, and we've had a spice potatoes has not been um, happening as much recently. We've got a very people are not supply. into spice potatoes anymore. No, no, God, we, no. <laughs> we love spice potatoes. They Come just on, aren't available Arnie. right now. Uh, there's been an embargo. There's been an embargo. That's right. I heard something. There's a spice embargo. Yes, there's a spice embargo. And Migas. Migas has sort of cut off all um, export of spices. So there's no more spice potatoes. 
There's a very limited. I have a very limited vacuum packed supply of spices. Uh huh. What is I vacuum take packed? Dig, uh, it's when you encase a spice inside of a um, seed pod <laughs> and zip it shut. Uh huh. With uh, elven forces. Oh, oh. sounds good. That's yeah. basically it. That's right. And you're half. You're half elf. Save space. So, so you're f- gonna leave the tavern in blemish. So blemish uh, has, has we everyone, had a heart to heart. Has I everyone think, checked under their chair to make sure he's not under their chair? Right, let's he's, all look. <laughs> you know, he shouldn't be under there. There's a cat under mine. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> okay that's so that means just, he's somewhere around here. <laughs> that around. doesn't mean anything. No, no, we have cats. We've got cats, sure. but they come They're out still of his loose. mouth. They did. They uh, did. Uh, that hasn't happened in. Weeks, but Blemish and I had a heart to heart, and I feel like he's ready. Yeah, um, I've been slowly handing over the reins to him. He promises me that he's going to take good care of the mm-hmm. Million Minotaur. Why? Why do you? Why do you believe in Blemish so much? He just seems creepy and awful. Kind of, I'm going to say it. Kind of irredeemable, and I don't say that about <laughs> many of our guests. I don't say that about many of our guests. Last week, I say it about some of our hosts. Last week, we, last week we befriended a killer, an assassin who's just been opening unlocked doors and killing people at random. He but seemed he like seemed so already, nice. He seemed like a nice he guy. He stabbed me several times, yeah. but I got over it. But blemish. Well, you know, for every evil, mm-hmm. there is good within a creature. Uh-huh. I mean, that's as the old legend goes. Oh, I mean, is all the you old just legend? have to tap into the good. What is I that legend? I love old legends. <laughs> I know. What is that legend exactly? Well, the first evil being um, that existed mm-hmm. in Foon. Yeah. Um, legend has it. Um, he was terrorizing the land. Sure. This was just as creatures were starting to be created. Yeah, but eventually it turns out it wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I, I have yeah. to say, um, Otak's, I love that story. Otak's brother Olmac gives way better legends. <laughs> well, Olmac is a is a bard by trade. Yeah. Oh, I see. Fine. So you're you're going to go off and find Activia, your daughter. Yes, I'm going to bring her back. Sure. I think the Falsetto Marauders have brainwashed her. Quite frankly. Sure. Yeah. At the very least, you go and you talk to her and you find out. And you know, if you can bring her back, you bring her back. You got to try. Ah, you'd love her, Arnie. I can't wait till you meet her. I'm excited to meet Activia. Everyone around here is always going, Activia. Mm-hmm. It's true. But they try not to do it around me because it stings. Uh, Otak, who, who's going? You, you said you had some people that, like, who's, what's your fellowship? Who are the yes. people that are going on this quest with All you? All right, absolutely. Well, um, I am honored but unable to join you as I have my own quest to defeat the Dark Lord. I, we must all band together for his dark reach is growing air more long. And as is that Crom? Yeah, that's Crom. Oh, Crom. Hey, guys, look who it is. It's me, Crom. Crom the Fingarian? That's me. <laughs> Krom and I, um, we mended some fences after he destroyed my tavern. Yeah, he destroyed the tavern. Murdered, murdered a lot of people. Countless I customers. feel terrible about that. That's a bit hyperbolic. It was only 32, not countless. Yeah. You can well, count them. We, ca- we did Arnie count can't. them. Arnie can't count that. <laughs> oh, I, oh. Well, Krom oh, came to me hat in hand yeah. and offered his, his allegiance to oh, my Oh, you cause. got a hat. Yes. Do you like it? It's wonderful. <laughs> yes. It's a little small, but yeah. yeah. It was the only size they had. That's why it was but in his I hand. I liked the hat so much, I just, I'm yeah. trying to make it work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're rocking it, man. Yes. Oh, wait, and speaking of in hand, Crom, you, what are you carrying? Oh, yes. Look who it is, everyone. What's up? Oh, flower. Flower. Oh, wonderful. I was, I didn't notice you had flower in your left hand because you're holding your club up yeah. over your head with your right hand. Yes, that's right. It's just... Just put it feels down. Feels more comfortable to have it. Down it. For a Just in case. Nobody seemed to notice that I was also wearing a hat. Oh, oh flower! Dude, yours is even tinier. Yeah. Yes, it's a head appropriate hat. <laughs> so, flower the talking. So, is flower the talking flower part of your quest as yes, well? Yes, absolutely. Flower is also coming with us. You well, don't have to say the talking blank behind <laughs> every name of every creature. Yeah. Everyone obviously can talk. Chunt the talking badger. I'm actually a shapeshifter, and obviously I talk. Sure. I mean, it's getting exhausting. The only person who can't talk is Mundle. Yeah, Mundle the Grundle, who's here every episode. You never say Mundle the untalking Grundle. I, I will start doing that. Please do not. Thank you, Mundle. Mundle will not be coming with us. Okay. Oh my Good, we useless. need him here. He, we need him here to play us in and out on the show. So, Flower, what made you decide to join Otak's Quest? I had like an open calendar. Uh-huh. That's Just not doing much. much. No, I'm not doing anything. And you know, since I learned to walk... 
it just takes me a long time. So yeah. I was like, you guys going somewhere? Sounds fucking great. Like, yeah. I want to go anywhere other than where I am right now. You're like, get me out of Hog's face. Yeah. Well, I don't care where we go. Also, I am a licensed interventionist. A what is that? A licensed interventionist. So I'm going to help out with his daughter because I could be like, hey, everybody, read your letter. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, mean, I don't practice much, but like, because I also usually don't give a fuck. But like, <laughs> part of me is like, yeah, this might turn a new leaf. Maybe we'll do something good. Sure, yeah. turn a new leaf. Good for you. Ar- you, Arnie. We haven't gotten your letter yet, by the way. If everybody, oh, I got a chance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so would I write a letter to Activia about all the ways that she's hurt me? You know what? Maybe you just shouldn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, actually. Considering he's that. never met her, I it yeah, might be more confusing true. than anything. Oh, that's were the letters true. supposed to be about Activia? Mine was about Arnie. No, oh. <laughs> it was just all the ways that's, that Arnie's that's hurt a me. Intervention. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, Krom, did you write a letter to Activia? Uh, I I wrote a letter to Otak <laughs> apologizing about how I ruined his tavern. Would uh, you mind reading your letter? Is it in poem format? Uh, it's it's in a free free <laughs> verse. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm so excited. Otak, my friend, the tavern is your home. I took a shit on your home. (laughs) In your home. It's a metaphor. I rubbed the shit around your home. It's not all a metaphor. 80% metaphor. 20% literal. Shut up and let Sorry, 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 sorry. I killed your friends and drowned them in shit. (laughs) And then I left without so much as a wipe. I am here on bended knee with scrub brush in hand to clean the shit from the walls of your home. That part's a metaphor. <laughs> and make my amends. Thank wow, you, that was amazing. That was great. Thank you, Crom. Wonderful. Thank you, Crom. I'm not going to give that to you. I'm, yeah. I'm seeing a feelings healer. Oh! Uh, about my rage sure. issues, and this is part of the, the healing process. So you go into berserker rages. I I have to say I'm 30 days berserker rage free. Oh, that's wow. fantastic! Wow. Yay! Thank you. That's great. That's actually how we met. We see the same rage counts. Oh yeah, I can Wait, see that. Are you guys friends? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Crom doesn't seem to be into flowers, as I remember it. I'm not in the. Uh, I'm not looking to date right now. Yeah. If you're in like heavy counseling, I think it's good to not. Date you pre- you for prefer bears as well, right? I, uh, I in the past, yes, I had a bear <laughs> interest. <laughs> oh, okay. I've had a bear and in the past too. You have? Yeah, I was a bear once. We've uh, all got yes, resumes. Um, <laughs> Crom, I probably should mention this before, that, but if if things get. Harry, we might actually need to tap into your rage, and I might have to. I assume I don't flower know if force you too. I don't know if that's a good idea. Crom, uh, what did you think you had to offer this quest? Uh, friendship, and I, uh, <laughs> I'm really good at telling animals by their prints in the ground. Oh, what animals are around. I mean, I'm sure that is somewhat useful, right? Yeah. That. Yeah. You're like, oh, there are definitely uh, beavers around or, you know, wolves. I don't know beaver or wolf (laughs) yet. What? uh, But I'm excited to learn a a lot about animal prints. Sure. Sure. Crom, would you name all the animal tracks that you can identify? Sure. Big bear. (laughs) Small bear. Bear on two feet. Bear on all fours. (laughs) I see what's happening here. (laughs) I had my suspicions. What about a bear on three feet with uh, one raised tripod? I can t- I can see if a bear rolls. <laughs> I can tell a bear roll. Now, Otak, I yes. assume you're also going to have to tap into Flower's Rage at some point so she can really tell someone off when they make you angry. That goes without saying. Yes. So are you able to... How long have you been rage-free? Oh, I'm not rage-free at all. I'm okay, good. I'm a rage counselor, but like, definitely not as successful as Yeah, Crom. no progress, I'm guessing. No, zero. Do you want to make progress, or is it just a place to go? I don't, I'm like, I'm open to change. But also, I gotta be honest, it's just nice to be somewhere else. Sure, totally. Yeah, yeah that's pretty yeah. much it. But, like, I'm open to it. We'll see. I'm whatever. But, like, mostly I still hate oh, sure. everything. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I can see it in your eyes. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, that's why I try to wear the hat. It's kind of balanced. It's like a nice accessory to be like, oh, she seems nice. Oh, yeah, it you is. Know. It is nice. <clears throat> I also have a hat. What? I also mm-hmm. wear this oh, hat. Oh, yeah. So it appears everyone's wearing a traveling hat. Yeah, not me. Seems like you might need uh, 
you know, to round out your fellowship a bit with uh, perhaps someone who knows magic or something. I don't know. <laughs> but not me. I'm not available. Too busy uh, fighting the Dark Lord day and night. But um, would be nice to be asked. You're very busy, you store. Not. I'm, I mean, I'm busy, but I, I you know, I'm a, I'm a fully rounded person with other interests other than the Dark Lord, though he is evil in everywhere and... Can I be honest with you? Like, yeah. the desperation yeah. is palpable. And that kind of turns people off. Wow. Wow. She sees... To the core. Yeah, she yeah. just slices right in. <clears throat> well, we actually all wrote a letter. What? <clears throat> this no. Is oh, Usador, I did write, this is, I did write this is, a Usador uh, letter. This oh, is that, an intervention, yes. Usador. Yeah. Sorry, right, Usador. Do you mind leading this flower? No, no. The doors are locked. Everybody get your letter. Uh, we, need, uh, right. we need to take a break. Uh, we'll be... We'll no, be, no, there's no... Let's not... <laughs> this we'll is be right. No, this no is deflecting, you. This is for you, okay? This is happening. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. Uh, I'll go first, Usador. Uh, ever since you fell into our world behind that Burger King, oh. you have been a nuisance to me, and you have uh, been... John. Huh? John, that's, you, that's about is, Arnie. That's what your oh, uh, said, too. So it is. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody else can go. Uh, I'll go. <clears throat> Usador. Devourer of Chaos. Nice try. <laughs> Grandmaster <laughs> of the Halls of Tarrakis. Oh, brother. The elves know you as Fian Yellick. The dwarves know you as Zonin Hoogstanges. Uh, you are known in the northeast as Gasmoinus Maystar. You are known in the south as... Not a thing, but okay. <laughs> Bob. I think you're great. I worry a little bit about your constant strokes. I worry about your health. I think you yes. should cool it on kind of all fronts. should maybe take a year or two. To walk to the top of the hill where you live, lay down, and take just like a long convo- convalescence. I have thought about putting myself okay, in wait, a cocoon for a you while, respond, but Before you respond, you have to kiss. What? <laughs> Is this how this works? That's how it works. Mm-hmm. After you read your letter, you have to kiss in the mouth. Uh, it's, so it's quite like Otak is between us at the table. Uh, yeah, He'll lean I'm back. Fine. I'm all right. <laughs> he can assist. All right, here. Meet me in the middle. Hold my hands. Here they go. And they're... Mm-hmm. They just actually kissed. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'll be honest. You Does didn't, that help? You didn't have to kiss. Oh, come <laughs> on. Flower. Come uh, on. Flower strikes am I the again. only one? Am I the only one that's going to do that? God yeah, that damn was it. it. Be it on me. It was good for oh, me. I liked damn it. it. That was great. I, I have heard that you are known in the South as Bob Evans. Is that true? <laughs> yes, I am known as Robert Evans in the South, which is true. <laughs> Robert Evans. All right, keep intervening. <laughs> All right, who's next? Who's got a, who has a letter for you? I have, a, I have a letter. Fian Yelik, I have known you since I was an infant. My parents warned me of your ineptitude. Aww. But they still care deeply for you. You have long had a home here at the Vermilion Minotaur. A second home, but you often treat it as your first. You have been a little help to me, as I have sought for my daughter. And while I appreciate the... Occasional spells you do cast to keep the Vermilion Minotaur tidy and upbeat. Um, I, I don't want you to ruin uh, my daughter. Oh, go ahead and kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. <laughs> I like how you were chanting it as no, well. No, I have to kiss you, Arnie. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. That's right? not how it works. Yeah, Everybody has to kiss Arnie. Go ahead and kiss. That's, that's right. usually oh, how boy, it works. My breath is not the best today. <laughs> All right, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, today. All right. Mwah. All right, that was not bad. Was a lot enough. less beardy than uh, Usador. <laughs> Should you have some candied beets? Crumb, do you have a? We could probably. Short. I don't need. We don't need. Mine's short. Dear gas my anus. <laughs> Did you say dear gas my anus? <laughs> yes. In the northeast. Someone's got a new name. <laughs> in the northeast, he's known as gas my anus. Gas yes. my anus. <laughs> How is it pronounced? Arnie, how did you miss that? I don't know! A gas oh. moinus. For 45 minutes. I can't believe I spent all that time on feline zelig. No one can. I know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Crom. Uh, gas moinus. Uh, dear gas moinus. Uh, 
You are seem good. Lots of talk about the Dark Lord. Maybe cool it on the Dark Lord. <laughs> and the winds echoed throughout the lands. Oh, oh I yeah, like the imagery kiss, at the end. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah. kiss. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God. All right, hold on. Say. And, and he's right. Yeah, you are, you are seem good. And while he's I, uh, it, I am seem good. You, you just gotta take this all in. Aww. That's good. Mm. That's great. Believe me, this is, means so much to me, having been 30 days rage-free, and now here I am kissing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See? All great things can happen if you sort of let the rage go. And Arnie looks a bit like a bear. <laughs> Well, so uh, as is tradition, um, Flower, Crom, and I have all packed our traveling skins. Oh, great. Um, and everyone should offer their um, gift of good travels. Good so travels. So hopefully everyone has their gift ready to yes. place in our skins. Oh, road quest. Road, road, road quest. quest. <laughs> road quest. Uh, I don't, Chunt, what did, uh, I don't, I didn't know about the uh, oh. uh, travel um, gift. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's. Typical for you to when somebody goes off on a quest with a party, it's typical to give them something uh, to help them on their quest. Okay. Well, what did you get them? I got them. Uh, I really dislike candied beets, um, so I, my, no no offense. That's all right. um, so I packed you guys some some killer uh, tofu. So I uh, put those in some satchels. So that's going to be for you guys to snack on throughout your trip. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. yummy! Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. And Arnie, like we can tell if you try to re-gift something that someone gave you Uh-oh. for a previous trip. Uh, <laughs> Just know um, I can tell because that's a you got that look in your eye okay. right now. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. I will. I got you guys all a Best Buy card, and uh, you can use this to track your purchases at Best Buy. And if you buy a lot of stuff at Best Buy, you get points towards free purchases. And what does expired 2010 mean? That means it's good up to 2010 rubies. Wow. Okay. If you don't know what a Best Buy is, it's like Americans. Oh, <laughs> right. right. Yeah, like sure, Americans. Sure, 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 sure. Like Americans. That's good. So that's one of us. Oh, all right. So <laughs> here you go, Ota. Uh, let's see here. Oh, boy. Uh, Krom, I got you this belt. <laughs> No, please keep that. Please keep that. Please, your pants are falling. You just took it off. Yeah, yourself. I know. It's convenient for me to have it here. So, Krom, here's my belt. It probably doesn't fit you, but maybe you can use it as an armband or something like that. I might keep your hat on your head. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Coming a hat handy. strap. It's That's a hat a strap. One. That's oh. true. And uh, flower. Oh, this is gonna be good. I got you, gorgeous, the talking potato. What the hell? The Where did you get that potato? potato? It's not to be eaten. It's <laughs> not to be eaten. It's a talking that screaming was a gift for me to you. scream. <laughs> I didn't have anything else to give them. It Sweet will potato. it'll be another member of your fellowship. It'll be, you know, I'm sure at some point on your trip, uh, gorgeous will be helpful. In no, this is great. I'm gonna use it to jerk off at night. Oh, hey, come on. No, no. gorgeous. Now is the time that even though you have Spoken ill of Usador, that he grants his gifts unto you. To you, Flower, I give this magical lariat. You'll be able to manipulate it with your roots and your leaves to capture your enemies by swinging it around them and pulling them in. If I hate what's happening, can I use it to kill myself? Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Crumb, for you, in place of your club. I give you this newborn sword. New oh newborn that's right, because a sword's hatch. Wow. It's still warm. It's still oh. warm. Mm. Treat it Incredible. kindly and let it strike down your enemies. Thank you, Gus. What Wayne <laughs> Wayne. You just say you so uh <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, Gorgeous to join the party here at the last second. Uh, let me see what I've got. Um, oh, here. I have a, a potion that grows legs. Whoa! Mm. Oh, there we go. That's... That would have been nice for me, like, a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I just made this. Okay, cool. Sorry. No worries. Uh, and, of course, Otok, my oldest and dearest friend. Yes. Here. For you, I have these magical rocks. Oh, come on. Oh. No, the, but one of them stays here with myself and Arnold. Oh. And this one you take with you, they are resonance stones. Resonance stones? Aye. If 
when you gather about to, to, to speak of your journey, speak into this resonance stone, and we will be able to hear it through this stone here. Wow. And that way we can share tales of your adventure throughout the world of Foon and Earth. I used to hear about those as a kid, but I used to call them Rocky Talkies. <laughs> <laughs> they are known mm-hmm. co- collo- <laughs> collo- He's having a stroke. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Where's, where's that? Hard word. Uh, where's hard Honk? Word. Everyone clear. Everyone clear. <laughs> Whoa, Honk. Honk is here. Honk. Honk. <laughs> oh, what a refreshing stroke. Oh, wow. I didn't know Honk was still actually still around. Thank you, Honk. <sighs> I'll see you guys. All right. Bye, Hawk. Well, uh, thank you, Eustador. I, I, I'd sort of hoped for some personally selected music for our trip, but these stones should come in handy. Oh, I also filled this stone with all my favorite traveling <laughs> songs. So you just put that up to your ear and hear all your favorite songs. Oh, what's on here? Seven Dragons and a Baby. Uh, uh, there's a lot of Christmas stuff on there. Uh, uh, that's the worst when you have a mix and it's you're listening to it and there's a bunch of Christmas music and you're like, I don't want this the rest of the year. Well, Otak, you know, I'm, I wish you well. I'm very excited that you're finally going off on your quest. As someone who, you know, has been separated from his family for a similar amount of time, like, I, I really, I hope you find your daughter. Thank you, Arnie. I, I, that means a lot to me. Um, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm hoping you'll kind of keep an eye on things here. And, um, yeah, absolutely. Maybe keep an eye on candy Blemish. beats for the table. Oh, oh, Blemish. Blemish. Oh. Thanks, guy. Fresh candy oh. beats. For today we celebrate Blemish's great step up in the world. Oh, thank you, boy. That's my guy. Yeah, Blemish. Hey, Blemish, I heard you're going to be in charge of the Vermilion Minotaur. Today, the Vermilion Minotaur. Tomorrow, who can say? Oh, he's opening his mouth. He's opening his mouth. Uh, that's oh, a, and you're oh, out. Cat. Oh, uh, so, Blemish, I just want to say, Arnie, um, I, I kind of want you and Arnie to really uh, work hand in hand here while I'm gone. Um, I trust Arnie to kind of uh, hold down this end of the wow. tavern. Really? Um, you have a job. I guess I do. And if all goes well, Arnie, I think I might, you know, I could toss a few coins your way when I come back. That would be fantastic. Uh, this took... Um, a lot of work, but here's your very own uh, Vermilion Mentor Roblet. Wow! Uniform. Wow! And you've been having some clothing Wow, issues. what a tight fit that is. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little tight. That's but... how we wear it here. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Doesn't leave much to the imagination. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Wow, I'm very excited to have a new job. I mean, I have to admit, I'm very busy trying to get the Lunar Sword out of a nearby dungeon. I've been working on that. How's that going? It's going all right. It's going all right. How many push-ups are you doing today? I am not doing any push-ups, but I'm up to 11 crunches. You're going to add one per day. I know. I missed a couple. Starting like a month ago. (laughs) I don't know. Was it a month? I I mean, it's not going as fast as I would like, but progress is being made. All right. Uh, And now, so now I've got two jobs. Get that lunar sword. Keep Blemish from destroying the Vermilion Minotaur. That's not even a job. (laughs) Uh, Chunt, have you gotten any emails lately? I have. Uh, you can email me, as always, at chunt at gmail.com. That's chunt with six T's. Or, or reach me on Twitter uh, at, ch- at chunt with six T's. This is from Megan Offer. Megan writes, hello, Chunt, as well as everybody else at the Vermilion Minotaur. So that's everyone. Yeah. Uh, say hi to Megan. Hello, hello Megan. Hi, Megan. I wrote an email which was read on the No Arnie episode. Uh, one of my favorites. When you were reading the question, I mentioned that I had an elder sister, Abby. You did not seem to know how that was possible because apparently in Foon, boys are born, born first. In boy, this girl, world, boy, girl, boy, mm-hmm, girl. In this world, children can be born in any order regardless of gender. What? Also, Usador and you do not seem to have a grasp on what a candy bar is, so let me explain. I am from Hershey, Pennsylvania and very close to the Hershey Chocolate Company. They are in charge of making chocolate candy, most often in a rec- rectangle shape. They make specific bars with uh, specific uh, names. And another company called Mars, they make Snickers. And I know that Chunt, since... The sun is setting. I have to get going, so... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, and I know that since I'm 12, it's probably not great for me to listen to this, but what's done yeah. is done. <laughs> uh, you can say that again, Megan. And you, Sidor, I... That's a good philosophy for a 12-year-old to have. <laughs> what's done, done is done. done. And you, Sidor, I dare you to make a tiny horse with 25 buttholes. Sincerely, Meg. Uh, all right. Um... Bonten, Kostian, um, Telly, Folly 2 through 25. Oh, boy. 
Oh. That, is, that is too many buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> that is too many buttholes. Oh, it, it, you it. can barely even it. see its back Please legs. Kill it. Please kill it. Please I kill it. I named it Hershey. <laughs> oh, Hershey the horse. Now I love it. Oh, gosh. Hershey horse. Uh, hey, I got a here. I got Nobody a couple asked. quick emails. No, if you wouldn't ever want to email me, you can email me at Magic Tavern at Puppies dot Supplies. And you can email contact address. me by sleeping through the night, waking in the morning, writing a letter down, sending it through the emails that Chunt and Arnie already read. Oh, oh that's yeah. the pretty straightforward one, actually. Yeah, aren't you on Twitter too? At Usador the Blue. I uh, got an email from uh, someone named Jeff, and this is for you, Otak. And actually, I get a lot of emails asking this question. Otak is half elf. Mm -hmm. That leads one to wonder, how many buttholes does he have? I maintain that it is two, the average of one and three. So elves have three buttholes. Mm -hmm. Well established. Humans have one butthole. Uh, Though others say it is 1.5. Could Otak confirm his number of buttholes regards Jeff? I know this is kind of a personal question. Well, it's pretty simple. I've got two buttholes and one just sort of just puckering slightly. Just like a just like a accessory butthole. Like it's vestigial like a lizard butthole. Eye. Vestigial butthole. Yeah, it's dry and scrapey. Oh, uh, how many times do you do you guys think we said butthole in the last five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I a mean, typical less episode. Than, yeah, less than the average, I would What's say. done is done, gent. <laughs> <laughs> well, Otak, Crom, Flower. <sighs> Gorgeous. I'm blemish. Uh, well, blemish isn't going. I'm just saying the people going. Oh. Maybe you should take blemish on your quest with you. I stay. I stay to rise through the ranks. The Vermilion Minotaur is mine. Mine. Oh my. Yeah, we're going. Oh, another cat. <laughs> well, good luck to you guys on your quest. Otak, where are you heading first? Like, what direction are you heading in? Uh, northwest. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you must know. Fantastic. Um, Actually, I promise we could stop at the first rest stop we see, though, because we got to get snacks. Right. I want to keep everybody happy. Sure. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's like <laughs> we're not in a hurry. Right. Let's right, not right. get stressed out. Let's just enjoy the trip. Let's enjoy the quest. This, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Road quest. Road quest. Yeah, road quest. Road quest. Road quest. Road quest. <laughs> Gorgeous is riding Hershey. Oh. oh, look at that potato right there, horse. <laughs> Plemish, would you lead everyone in the Traveler's Prayer before we go? It would be my honor. May the road be dusty. May your travelers be musty. And may all your swords and daggers be trusty. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Thank, 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 thank you, the Plemish. goddesses. Thank, thank, thank the goddesses. goddesses. Wow. Well, good luck, guys. <sighs> Thank you, Arnie. In case you're worried that Otok's quest may lead to a more carefully structured storyline, fear not. Our friends are clumsily winging it just as they've always done. And last but not least, none of it is real. Matt Young entertained us as Usador the Blue. Chunt the Talking Badger was acted by Adol Rafai. Otak Barleyfoot was played by Nick Bear. Crom the Fingarian was played by Mark Logston. Flower was played by Brooke Bright. Honk the Assassin was played by Ross Kimball. And Blemish was played by Martin Wilson. Oh my. Entertaining the idea of Martin Wilson as a serious performer has exhausted me. Let's get through the rest of this. Magic Tavern is produced by Ryan DeGiorgi, Evan Jakover, and Artie Niekamp. This episode edited by Evan Jakover. Blah, 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 a bunch of other stuff. Follow the show on Facebook, rate it on iTunes, or wherever you found it. I think that about covers it. Oh, Craig! One last thing. Any word from Trisha8045? No, sir. No sign of Trisha anywhere. That is not good. Clones can weaken the barrier between dimensions. We can't have another one on the loose. Another one? That's all I'll say for now. Just marinate on those clever details for a bit. Hey. 
Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.